The Pool in the Graveyard by Greville MacDonald. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Ratan Deep Satwant Singh. The Pool in the Graveyard by Greville MacDonald. By this corner of the graveyard, the red dawn discovered to Jonas a little pool of clear water with mosses and parsley ferns all around it, and so clear and cool looking that he must drink. The larger part of it was still shadowed by the wall. On knees and hands he put his lips to it and drank. The refreshment was wonderful. He rose with the sense that he should find the lost sheep yet and bring her home. He looked down once more into the clear pool. It was wider than he had thought. Indeed, he had been mistaken. It was a great tarn on the mountain side. Then he saw that wonderful things were happening on the face of and all round the water. What appeared to be little glowworms were lying motionless in groups on the mosses in a still shadowed region by the side of the water. From beneath a low arc in the wall, where the water was slowly flowing away in a river, there came, against stream and wave and wind, a fishing boat. Its great red sail was spread, and its pennant shone silvery blue in the sun. It came alongside a pier of mossy stones, and cast anchor. From it leapt twelve strong young fishermen, all with bright faces. They took up the little creatures with the glowing lights and carried them aboard, then back again to other groups, until all were gathered in. For they were all sleeping human forms, clothes wrapped in grave clothes, but with their light still living, as might be seen by anyone who had suffered. When all were safe aboard, the men cast off and the boat disappeared under the ark. End of the pool in the graveyard.